Alrighty, let me just double check something. Yeah, very good. And this. Cool. So, yes, we're gonna make this uh, Pirates Farm saw. I already got it to run. So the recoil on her. Everything she needs to run. But she still needs an air filter, a top cover, a clutch, a clutch size cover, bar plates, bar nuts, and then lastly but not least, the bar. And chain. What else she need? That's it. So we're gonna take the, all these parts. Oh, ah, I know what I done. There, world famous Shaw Shanty Bushman move there. I didn't change it over to the right internet before I went live. We're there now. So, as I was saying, I don't know how much got through. Um, we're going to take these part saws and make that farm saw a good saw. So, she needs a clutch, clutch side cover, uh, air filter top cover, um, the, the bar nuts for that, and, the, and a bar and a chain, and they were good to go. But she already runs. I already fired her up once. Oh, and the muffler was missing a bolt, so I'd like to take that apart anyways. See what's going on. And uh, if there's a spark of rust in there, we'll take that out of there. So there we go, we got that off. Uh, this is going to fight a little bit, eh? Just a little bit. Usually these don't fight at all. Usually these just pop right off. We don't want to be too aggressive with it. All right. Good clutch, man. Watch, we'll smash a new sprocket on it while we have it apart. Is that ever tight? Don't know why. <laughs> Don't know. It is moving, it's just very slowly. Should be coming faster than that. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. I think we should go now. <laughs> Maybe not so much. There she goes. There she comes. It's gonna get a little tappy. A little tap 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 a root. B Kane, how's it going guys? Ah, a little tap 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 a root. And we got her. Okay. We're there, man. I guess I should have picked out a sprocket first. We'll just throw one of these seven pins on here. We put an eight pin on it too. Nah, we'll stick with a seven pin for now. I think that's what was on it. Or on that one anyways, yeah, just the seven pin. So, take the old one off. This one on, it's got a little more weight to it. But weight's not such a bad thing. It gives it momentum. Oh, this one have I got? It don't fit this one, hey. Going on there. Okay. okay. Let's see how it is. Well, this thing's worn out, it's not, so we're going to put this one on here. It's in much better shape. If it'll fit. Yep, it will. Huh. Those little guys are. Crud in there. Yeah. Sad. Anyways, uh, I think that's all we need off of this thing. Ah. Here's our donor acceptor. All right, let's see if we've missed anybody here. Tree fella, good to see you. 
Oh, yeah, our internet's not too horrible bad here. Oh, we lost our little thing there. Cool. All right. Onward we go. That's what's going on here. Needle baron flew out here. Looks like that's not even the right day in that bearing clutch when you I think the spines are different on it. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little closer right to the floor here. Sometimes we recover things when they drop. Often not. You don't win unless you play the game. Give her a go here. Yeah, where do you go, your old girl? Aha! Found it! See, like I said, this is a case of. Well, just because it's not super easy doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Alright, let's get these little. Pain in the butts back in here. Oh, I see now. Okay. I see. I see. I see. This isn't like the other clutches I've done on these. Okay. However, we shall have done all the same. See, says the blind man with the one eye. Yeah. And you in here. I think someone had this and they went and put it together the wrong way. And that's why she's all rigmarooed like that. You have old signs, you never know who was in here first. You run into these kind of things. There it is. Now, uh, usually they have the splines right on that little thing. Even on the dog, but this one's got little chuckies. They're little cheer pins. They line up. Kind of odd. 
Oh, we're putting a clutch on an old farm side on Detroit. Uh, hmm. Well, let's start with one, I guess. There we go. She's in. Make sure she's flush. I want no screwing around going on around here. This little guy in here. Come on, you. I didn't want to go in so easy. You can't persuade it a little bit here. Persuader. Send it again. Weird clutch, weird clutch. I don't use the pins like that. This, this might be somebody's makeshift jobby, but we're going to use it. Seems to work. There she is. Splash. I think. Check. Ah. Did we get it? Yikes. Come on, you. Okay. Now I think I got her. It's going to have to be sweetened. Okay. Cool. Should be good-ish, gooder, good kinda, maybe, some kinda, way, way old. And this silly thing goes, and this little guy, hey, woo, what am I missing here? Hey, you see all Fiskers on the, on the amp back here. All right, on. That's okay, V. It's freezing rain and wind and horrible outside here today, V. That's why I'm in the shanty. No better place to be on a windy, nasty, freezing rain day. Well, maybe inside, I guess, but can't do this stuff inside. Too she snug. Oh, that's good and snugged. Oh. <laughs> Someone wants to message Jay, let him know we're live. McDaniels, how's it going? Hope you're doing well, brother. She's a nasty, freezing, rainy, 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 nasty day. Freezy rainy day. Freezy rainy rainy rainy. Rain. Freezy nasty rain. Ooh. Did I say that enough times? Freezy nasty rain. Freezy nasty rain. Oh, I could show you. Kim, how's it going? Steve, how's it going? Ah. So we now we have a clutch on her. Woo! We peeled it off of this old carcass. Still good parts on that. Oh, still good. Ah, uh, she's. She's not so bad right now. See old Wayne. You can hear the wind howling. You can see the treetops moving. Was well, freezing rain earlier. Definitely not tree cutting weather. Saw working weather. You heard? How's she going, Jay?
How is she going? Yeah, I want to answer your call, but we're live. <laughs> uh, okay. So we got that. We now have a clutch on the saw. Actually, I messaged Jay earlier when I first got this thing running. Proud little pony, you know. All right, let's take this muffler cover off here and see what's going on inside of that. Let's have a look at that. Shall we? Well, that wasn't very tight. Oh, Jay, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Uh... This one. Oh, you just got home from physio. It's never good. Oh, there's the chunk of screen. Good. It's never, I was going to say, it's never good when you have a blown out screen and you can't find the excess chunks because that means the motor ate it. But yeah. Well, it's a good thing we took this sucker apart. Oh, yeah, she's pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see from there, maybe. Yeah. We'll get you here. We'll get you here. Wah. There she be. Yeah, now you can see it. Yes. She's a little oily. But that's okay. Actually, really not that much carbon there, either. Piss that up. Bushman Seeker Weapon, WD-40. Which WD, I mean, you, uh, you're watching, you know. You know. I've already put a few of your kids through college, so, I mean, you know. <laughs> I use a lot of that stuff. It's good for a lot of things. Hi, Fox. How's it going? Yeah, it's a nasty weather day here, so as we got somewhat decent service. Is it coming through clear over there? Chris, how's it going? Give her the garlic, bud. Truth, brother. Just keep trooping, man. weather down in Florida today. I guess it's snowing there. I guess it snows a lot, right? You guys don't usually get uh, warm weather at all. If the trucks are rocking. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's pretty cold down there in Florida, right? Usually. Good enough. Good enough. Let's go 
clean up. I'm get my little brush attachment for the drill. Just got a couple of drills in the house, anyways. Ugh, 580, my little Lanta. Oh, sorry, I guess you guys are looking at a WG40 bottle. Not a bad bottle to look at, though. Boop, 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 boop. 58 full sun. Oh, thing. Come on, bud. I'm trying to keep you guys powered up so I don't lose you. Hey, you know, I'm just tinkering out here on this thing. Yeah, come on. And by golly, we'll make this thing work again. This once was a print mirror carcass, huh? Mm-hmm. Little parts machine. We'll make her a handy dandy farm saw again. That'll be what farm saw number four around here for crying out loud. I'm not counting the ones that have been through here. Add one or two. They've been abundant lately. Oh. Sorry, I didn't get to see your message here, Steve. I don't know why your message keeps still in. Say how you were. Whistle work. <whistles> when you whistle while you work, it puts you in a smirk. You clean that muffler, make it no longer ruffler. So that pioneer will work. Eh, how's that? We take out our little bushings out of there, give them a good little wimpy poo, clean them up. We take that and we throw it in the scrap pile. What you want to do no. is this side. Mommy Taz, how's it going? Chippy, how's she going? Uh, oh, right, this was missing a bolt, so we're going to need to harvest the bolt. Hey, our little parts carcass right here happens to have one. Ah, thanks, sucker. Taking it and you ain't getting it back. There we go. Thanks, sucker. Taking it and I'm not looking back. Oh, that's gonna need a bit of a washer. Hold it, worn out. Worship around. I'm sure, there's a worship around. Don't knock things apart lately. Found a worship. Found a worship. Worship, 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 worship. Okay, so I'm gonna fire that. Ah! We don't do that. Hold the bolts now. Put that on. Sweetie, it is. Yes. Mm 
Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're there, man. We're there, man. So close. Come on, don't you be a little bugger, you little bugger. Come on, you little bum. Why are you doing this to me? And uh. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Okay, what's going on here? Gotcha. <laughs> I win. Well, I mean, shoot. I won that battle. Just about yet here. You see, you gotta get that deer on yet deer side, and then you gotta get that deer on yet deer side, and this guy here's gotta go on the top. But yeah, uh, you know, this guy in the top here, she's gonna be in a little bit of a fighter here yet. So, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into the second period, just going on there now that that's kind of in there yet, and we're gonna take that one in there now, and that one in there a little more yet, yet, and then we're gonna get this little guy, by the screwdriver. It's, just, it's, it's a fussy one. So, Hopefully we're not crash threatening it, but she needs to be going. Okay, now so we're not going to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're going to go back down in here a little bit here. And we're going to get in down in on that one. And get in this one on that one here. And then on 35, 35, 4, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, Cool. Alright, now what I do with the Oh Hey. Yes. It's a brand new girl. She's gonna run just like her sisters do. It's a pretty farsa. Not quite pink, but orange will do instead of pink. My friend. It's a brand new squirrel. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I'll um, I'll repeat that in slow motion later. Hang on. Once I get this, I'll do that. All everything word for word. I'll do it all in slow motion. There, got the whole the whole action. That was a little fast for some baby. Yeah, I'll get that <laughs> In the interview, the old back in the day, the old NASCAR pit stop guys it was just real good old boys in the garage here. Oh, well, we pull her in there, we change that tire there, and I had a bit of a gas leak, so we went down there and put a rubber hole on there, and it took us a little longer in that pit stop, so that was kind of got us behind. And uh, you know, our tires were good though, so that was kept us going to the end, and you know, and he came back through the end, and that was good car, good car, and we ran really good, and then wind up on the end there, and caught up in the top. So that's you know, that's how they used to talk, anyways. I don't know if they do that so much anymore. I don't really follow that much of the modern NASCAR. Yeah, learn how to die the sport changed. Okay, so that's that. Muffler's complete. We got a clutch on her. Yes, we do. Cool. Got like that. Um. Let's say cover. Give it. There we go. And one bar plate. Half another carcass. Yeah. Um. Hmm. What's this? 
Well, I think that's a, no, that's not a firm side bar plate. Is that a firm side bar plate? No. What do I got in here now? Oh, 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 hey, that's a firm side block bar plate, but that's the other one. Ah, jeez. Need the side with the adjustment. For the burn. Did I already try that one? I already tried that one, I think. I did. I done. Okay, well, what's up here? Oh, yeah. Oh, this looks promising. Yes, I'm... Ah, uh, don't tell me. Nope, we're good. We're good. Just this thing needs to bend. Aroni. So, box uh, dehydrated or canned or ready to go. Benderoni. On the shelves near you. All right, here we go. This is what you get when you buy a Benderoni. Benderoni comes today in the form of Mastercraft ice grips. I would grab the Irwin's, but this is what came to my hands first. So it shall be. Do -do -do. Oh, delicious benderoni. That was awesome. All right, let's see how that went. Yes. Muy, muy, more happy. Yes. More, muy, yes. Gracias. Oh, of course I picked one. Got a big hole in the bag of it. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. I mean, it'll work. I could always put river something. Another one. No, it's missing the adjuster on the screw. It's okay, I think I know where another one is. Where'd it go? Just have it. I did, didn't I? Oh, and I put it back where I reached. Yeah. Ah! Done myself dirty. Alright. Okay, so we'll just rub this over here. So this one's more solider. This is what I mean. You take good parts, you make a good saw. Uh, oh, take care, Chippy. What's going on here? Well, I hope everything's going well, Chippy. Oh, geez, well. Yeah, if you need to talk to you, Peter, you know how to get a hold of me. Everybody send Chippy some love. Go check out, oh, that's the wrong. We just need the piece out of that. Go check out his channel there, Chippy ATV. He's a good fella.
Come in. Give me my part. I am taking part from you. Peace. Gracias. Okay. Cool. So I'll set that aside. Maybe do something like that at a later date. Or in a pinch, it'll be just fine. Better than nothing. Ah! Which I've seen guys set up their saws with nothing. Maybe in a pinch, I guess, you know. But yeah, they just throw the, the bar nuts on it. And they send it. Yes, definitely tell a uh, ground gal hi from us. I'm thinking there should be a package on your doorstep, Chris, probably by Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Might be one of them green saws in there. Jay, you still there? Speaking of uh, green size, I put a bar on that other P50 today. I haven't run it in the wood yet, but I threw one of them 810 bars on it. I actually kind of like them for how, how cheap they are. They seem okay. They seem all right for a cheap bar. Eat them. Sounds like we're going to transfer. Johnny, how's it going, brother? Oh, boss orders, eh? You gotta listen to the boss, you know. <laughs> it's always good to see you, Johnny. That was a hell of a nice gift you gave to Taz, man. Hell of a nice gift. Giving them your dad's knife and all that, man. Jeez Louise. Don't get much more sentimental than that. You're a good man. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check out Tasman's his most recent video. And uh, show Johnny some love. I know you do, Johnny, and that's why we love you, buddy. Why well, we love you because you're you, but that's a big, big part of you, right? So we love that too. We love you all. We've got a good, good community here, man. Like some of my bestest friends don't even live in the same province. It's crazy, and it's all because of the. YouTube, you guys would have never ne not met you if I hadn't started making videos. And to be honest with you, I made videos years and years ago, so I always kind of dreamed about having my own fishing show when I was a kid. Uh, so I did make fishing videos, like well, I guess we're going on like eight or so years ago, and uh, they're still up. Could most of them, anyways. I think some of them got copyrighted and I had to take them down. But uh, you know, I stopped making videos after that, and. Uh, I never really would have made videos again if I didn't start watching Tractor Man 44. And I started watching his videos, and, and he's basically doing kind of, not, not live, but in an edited video, he'd be doing his tinkering and sharing his wisdom with uh, some of the old hacks that he's learned, you know, uh, how to get around some of the, the common issues with old equipment and stuff like that. And just how comfortable he was talking to people, and I mean, the way the world's been, it was kind of neat just to, you know, be able to go on a comments talk and watch and talk and, and see what's going on and learn and and uh so i kind of caught on to that i thought hey that's cool so it's still up i uploaded a video wanted to wanted to show them my my massey harris 44. so I, I and it was the last fire up for the season two finally enough so just before i put it away i sat there let it waggle do a little walk around of it and i thought oh hell 
He tinkers on tractors. I tinker on old saws. So I started tinkering in the shed here. But at that time, I was like fixing up little flip up saws there. I'd buy little pollens or whatever and sell them to the homeowners and stuff around here. And uh, I'd keep any kind of neat stuff I'd come across. Well, and then I started, uh, I joined the, the Canadian Vintage Chainsaw Orders. And I met a great group of people there. And, uh, and then I met uh, Jay and uh, Mac131 and Dan, Chris Leggett. We're all uh, back in the original day. And uh, it kind of branched from there, you know. And we all, we all kind of grown. It's neat, you know. And I know I've, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of progression um, in myself anyways, just with being able to, to cut out the videos and all that. And uh, I know they have too, just being able to, to chop them up and pump them out when we feel like it. It's amazing. We also like it's 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 neat to to talk to people on other sides of the world and then say, hey, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you this and then it shows up there. Imagine that. I know. It's a simple concept, but is it ever neat? You know, I, I brew maple syrup here or honey or whatever and send her the complete opposite side of the continent. For, uh, for someone uh, that, that, that dumb bees have never, never been in that environment. Like, it's just neat. I don't know. It's just neat. I think. I guess that's why people travel, right? You know, same kind of thrill, and but different. Hey, Matt. It's actually one of the farm saws that, uh, that I got off you. This is, I think, a P40, which... I got a P40, which I got off of Mike up in uh, Wishago. Um, and we still got a pile of part size that I got off you there behind me too. We peeled, uh, peeled the clutch off of that P40. Oh, we're leaking fuel now. Well, that's not ideal. Probably needs fuel line replacement on this guy. Well, we'll get to that. I guess we can do that now. It won't hurt, will it? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like the friendships and all that. It's so cool. It's so cool being able to share everything with you guys. Decent fuel, is one? Must be just cracked. Oh, it is cracked. You son of a gun. Okay. Let's see how it is. How it's gonna be, eh? Well, I can probably just cut that shorter for now, and then I'll replace it later. I should probably just rip it the way it is. Good enough. Good enough. Holy smokes. This thing's re missing a reed block screw. Okay. Well, hang on now. Hang on now. I can't believe I got this thing to fire up the way she is. Missing all this stuff. Get out of there. Mm. I like turning parts into working things, though. That's kind of fun sometimes. Can you go in there with not much for expect expectations? Son of a goon. Hmm. This thing will be nice. Well, let's see what we got over here. Yeah. Take one off of this thing. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. The stove is jammed. It's gonna need a wrench. Smaller than that. Smaller 
than that. Can't be smaller than that. That's the one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. I'm in. Yes, please. Yeah, I did not notice I was missing that reblock screw before. Silly me. Just all those how or show us how amazing these freaking pioneers. She all run with three reed block screws. She don't need four. We got her now, Robbie. There we go. Boop. And there you go. Yeah, it's crazy they changed the screws. Between the uh, P40 and the farm side. So. I'll be ducky. There's some dogs and turkeys. Oh my. Dogs and turkeys and roosters. Oh my. Dogs and turkeys and roosters, oh my. Justin, how's it going? Good to see you, brother. I love uh, the line feeds in this community. I mean, not just doing them, but watching them too, you know. It's kind of like Cheers, where everybody knows your name, you know. Well, not that just because you got a name tag, too, but. I want to go where everybody knows your name. Da, 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 da. You better be okay, Jay. If you're not okay, I'll make you not okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We need you around for some time to come, brother. There. You don't want to over tighten these reed block bolts. Probably want to rattle loose because you got to be so darn ginger with them. Because, and the same with your ones that go into the reed blocks because it cracks so easy, so you don't want to put too much torque on that, and then you'll crack your reed block, and then, well, I mean, you've opened a whole other can of worms. It's not a good situation. All right, so I have this. It's not great, but it'll work. Let's see, dig up over yonder. Over yonder. says me. Ooh, hello. Oh, walrus. Do 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 do. Nice to see you. Do do do. It's been a long time since you fired and cut wood, but that's what we're gonna change. Cause you are buying me and you're in the right place. To get fixed up. So grab the brake clean and blow this filter in. We're back. Hello, Farmsa. Nice to see you. 
It's been a long time since you cut wood and sounded so mean. Come fix this fuel line. It's got a choke, not a prime. It's a farm saw, not a city slicking rig. Come on, you. How you like that, huh? I guess Conway does a better job of that one, doesn't he? But I got better lyrics. <laughs> I should just replace this fuel line. I really should, but you know what? You know what? We'll get by. Getting pretty good at barely getting by. go yeah. see I won't take no for an answer right you're gonna go on there perfect there won't be anywhere to argue about it there you go you best like it too all right that should pretty much rinse with WD ah I should rinse out a brake clean WD is just too much work Good forever, but I don't care. About a dozen of these little river thingies. No shortage of them. Oh, you know, brake clean ain't gonna kill it. It's not great for it. It's not gonna kill it. It's gonna be just fine. Should be yes. I think it'll be okay. The three stages of messing around. It'll be fine. Should be fine. Hope it'll be okay. We're there, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, we got a clutch side cover. We need some nuts for that. Zinzabar and chain, y'all. Which actually, I know where there's one that'll fly right on this. I'll run out and grab that in a second. Top cover first. Now, I mean, I've got a little P41. Where'd it go? There it is. And it's hot and bothered and ready to go, which would work, but it says P40 on it. That's not proper. So, I mean, we can build one of that one says Pioneer Partner on that farm saw. The one I peeled off of that one, it was a proper farm saw one, but I was breaking it. It was a stick. There it is. No, I mean, it's not that bad. Seen worse. None but chainsaws. Good to see you. How are we doing today? Oh, that's not good, Mama Taz. That's not good. Oh, and if they're shit talking, just tell them to come on out and try their best. Let's see them soon do it. You know, we'll, for we'll form a, a softball league. Oh, yeah, we will. We'll call them. Look out, here's the loggers. And yeah, that's what we'll call her. We'll cut down our own baseball bats. Man, they don't like it. Well, they can, they can take off, eh? They can go fly a kite. Uh. <laughs> well, this is when someone put an odd coil on it, but it's not the right coil, obviously. Obviously, it didn't work out for them. That's probably a good setup. I don't have bar nuts on it anyways. Anyway. Bugger. Uh, 
Well, yeah, I know where they live. They're on the other shed. There's probably barn nuts in here somewhere. Maybe barn nuts in here somewhere. I hope there's barn nuts in here somewhere. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to fuel them off something else. All right, I'll be right back. If I found one that works. Which is one more than we had. Might maybe work. Oh, yeah. I need one more bar net. Oh, what's this? Why do you use all the freaking bar nuts, kid? Uh, I mean, it'll work. It's a different size, though. A different size socket, which I hate that. I hate having uh, two socks to tighten down the lugs. Be good. Thousands has gone live. That guy's cool. Uh, son of a gun! Come on! Come on, lady luck, don't feel me now. Freaking burn that jackpot. Incorrect size. Correct size. Uh, is that the same as that? No, it's not. So these are two same nuts. We're going to go with that instead. Of this is, I'm a sucker for symmetry. Wait, don't be like that. No, don't be like that. Okay, so we're not going to use that one. We're going to use the one that I had before. These are the same socket size anyways, but they're 9 sixteenths. These usually are 9 sixteenths. I think I can find one. It's a 14. I wonder if that'll work. Eh, not quite, but kind of good enough. A little tricky. Ooh. When you're just whipping in your uh, loose screws, you can use a slot screwdriver to make it a little easier. Muffler! Ooh, an Elky farm saw. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I already got two running in the house. This guy runs. And this one here... Uh, with the chain break, she runs. She's got a little noise on the muffler, which I think there's probably the screen knocked out of it, so I gotta I take the plate out of the muffler anyways. And they're just may or may not. Hang on, come on. Eh, eh, I'm turning it 
in the chair. But there's a few behind me that are meaners. Eh. Eh. Uh huh. One or two things that we can swap parts from over there, too. You might be able to do an Elkie Farm saw if you're willing to build it. Because I don't know how to build such a thing. Yeah. That's not my bag. That's your bag. Okay. So. We repaired that fuel line. Gave it an air filler. Gave it a clutch. Clutch cover, bar nuts, top cover. I did actually replace the fuel cap before just to get this thing going. She got some fuel in it. Popped it off this morning, she ran and idled. Might not need choke, might just fire up. We took, oh yeah, and we cleaned out the muffler, we took the spark arrest router. Well, hang on, let me look. Mr. Fisker's outside, because he's not gonna like this so much. Hey, bud. No, crap, door open. And... Let's uh, give her the garlic. Hope for the bestest. For your farm style owners, you don't have to worry about the recoil because that's one, I guess, kind of a benefit of that weird cog thing. Is they, uh, they don't, you don't need to worry about the recoil snapping back on it because you can't because it's cogged back. Oh, it's, I don't know if you can hear it, John, man, these trees are bending like crazy and I'm not even cutting on them. She's windy. Me. I can hold the camera still, you might be able to see. Yeah, you can kind of see the move. I, I, geez, the camera don't really do it justice much, do it? <laughs> We're under another bolt because of the freezing rain. rain. The freezing rain stopped. It's not so bad now. Just windy. Not quite as windy as she get out the prairie, but she's pretty windy here on the mountain. Whoop. All right, take care, muffler. Good to see you, brother. So we got that to go on. Now we got to get the bar on it. Hang on, we'll get back. Gee, she's chilly out there without a jacket on, I tell you. Yeah, I got a little 20 inch bar, we'll shove that on there for a little trial. When I was running on the other farm saw, I've slipped a 28 inch on that now. Yes, I did. Made it run. Now I'm gonna make it cut. Uh, 
that's the next logical step in it. Oh yeah, I guess we gotta make sure that bar roll's topped up too. James, how's she going? I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing good. Well, you be safe over there, Johnny. Yeah, I hear ya. Springtime. Busy time for everybody. Well, so was the fall, I guess, too, right? I'm sure nice to see the warmer weather here. Finally. Go on the little sprocket. Come on, you little doll. There you go. That's what I like to see. Disco fever. Whee! Oh, for those of you that were in there earlier and I had to bang those little shear pins in, that's actually what the normal they normally look like on those clutches. They have these little splines on them, but that one didn't have it. It had two little shear pins you had to tap into place. I guess because it was on a P40, it's older, different design. But hey, old is new in this case. Old, old parts became new parts for this thing. Oh, jeez, James. You're a good dude. You don't need to bother with that, but if you want to, I muchly appreciate it. And heck, if that's what you want me to do with it, you want me to fire it on a farm saw, we'll fire it onto a farm saw. Or we put on a P50 or whatever you want, man. We'll put it on something. And we can cut the wood with it. Yes. Ah! Don't disappear on me. There you are. Found it. I was lucky. Oh boy. This is actually an old organ bear. Might have come up a pioneer. I mean, my colleague, this is all seven mount. A lot of that's interchangeable. The old stuff. But the. Where's the screwdriver? In your hand. Oh! Really? It's always the last place you'll look. Very nice. Oh, yes. This please me. I'm very happy with that. Yes, we tighten it down. Yes, yes. Oh, shotty, shotty. Come on, you yes. Oh. I love gold. Yes, winner. Where 
there, man. We did it. All right. Holy smokes. There we go. That hasn't been up in a while. Thirty-year-old bar oil in there. I got some cheap stuff in here. Oh, I got some kind of good stuff too. And good stuff, cheap stuff. Uh, let's use up this cheap stuff. Give me some of that jet dry. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Well, I already know what oils. I've seen it oiling earlier. Should, in theory, spin that chain. It's on the sprocket. Unless it pulled a fast one on me and tricked me last minute. You guys. Let's test it out, shall we? Oh, if only there was a logger around here, we could put a log or something. We could test it with. Yeah. That would be proper. Then we'd be back in time for a cup of tea. Oh, oh. oh my golly. I believe I've found some logs from their natural habitat lying in the log Well, we'll go there, James. Come on, we'll get around the corner. I must hide behind the tree. As the great hunter we are. Walk back to the logs. We found them! Ah! The farm saw has claimed this log. Alright, let's test this booger out. Let's see what happens. Well, I should have brought a tuning screwdriver with me just in case. Well, here's open. Get a fine for having far too much. Back to the shed miles. Before the warden finds us. Can't afford another game fight. Not for lucky. Wah. All right. Woo. Now you seen it. We built our life. Woo. I mean, I already had it. the hard part over. I got to run it first, but. <sighs> Jeez, I felt like I was running from a game warden. Whew. All right. There's the smoking gun. She's live. And loving life again. Woo! Okay. Ah, now I got to. Get it wiped down and cleaned it up. Cuts all right. Cuts pretty good. Probably need a little finagling. The car member later. I just need a little buff. 
Other than that, we'll adjust them in the MTO on the high. Low jet's good. Throttle response was nice. That's it. She's good to go. She needs a bit of a worse though. Just a bit. Eh. Oh, wait, we got some. Oh, moly. I'm warm. I gotta open the door. Good. Nice. All right. Let's get this guy reloaded with some nectar of the gods. This a proper wash down. Yeah, that was super easy. I mean, that's basically the same as our super mini here in Canada. I don't, I don't know that I have one of the super easies. I thought I did. I was digging around one day looking for it, and apparently I don't. Maybe I do. I don't know. I thought I did. I'd have to look really hard. Come on. Oh, the bottle's toast. Oh, you son of a gun. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we're making things work for spare parts, right? Huh? Huh? Why not our 40 bottle, too? Ah, that's a more gooder. I love how you spray this stuff and then you go over it again and it just blasts off. It's a great cleaning agent. Look at these old fins. I'll we'll put up a pain clean usually. Good stuff. Yeah. So I'm thinking this here farm saw. We're gonna clean it up all nice nice. Since we put all these fancy clean shiny parts on it. I mean she's got some nice decals on it too. Maybe see it now. Arm saw decal on my other side is just about mint condition. She's missing the decal here. She's got her pioneer decal here. Well, we'll get some garlic decals on it for sure. And we'll we'll gas you this thing up nice, nice. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll do a raffle, but this one will be for. The barbecue in October, so we'll get the the thing up. We'll sell tickets and we'll do the raffle in October for the barbecue, and all the proceeds can go to you know getting whatever we decide to cook, whether it be a beef or pork or burgers or whatever, and and, uh, and whatnot, and for prizes and stuff like that. And it also adds to the event. We'll we'll raffle this son of a gun off. What do you think? Yeah, your name, good idea, horrible idea. Just a thought, we don't have to go through. For the barbecue, to double check the calendar. Jay, I'll know, I think, uh, might be on your calendar. I think he wrote it down, but we've decided on a date. I think it was the 26th or 28th. Ah. Oh. I can't wait. It'll be good to see everybody again. It'll be good to see you. And we'll see what kind of crazy races we can get going again. 23rd, is that what it is, Miss Bushman? I wrote it on the calendar there. Maybe it was the 23rd. Yeah, that sounds about right. So 23rd of October. Well, I'll do a post about it. And uh, we'll finalize the... Or I'll... I'll let you guys know the date for sure. We already did finalize the date. 
23rd. Okay, that's it. So the 23rd is the day. So I think what we'll do for this farm saw here, which I'm bathing ever so gently. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm using the WD spiring me. Hmm. I don't use much, I know. Just a little bit will do me. Uh, <laughs> so I'll get this guy seat up, raffle it off. And we'll get the tickets as soon as I can get on the website. We'll throw tickets up. Well, speaking of raffle saw, we did make a decision. I'm priming up the pieces from the, the P26 for the Indigo Saw Draw, uh, which the ticket sales are up for that, but they're further back. So uh, once we get the new look for it, I'll, I'll redo the ticket thing so it'll be further up on the website, easier to find. Um, which that one's going to help the David Busby Center for the Homeless. And since the new Spider Man movie came up with there, Bush Bushman and I decided that she's okay with it. I'm going to go ahead and prime the pieces and paint the metallic red and she's going to paint Spider-Man uh, spider webs on it, you know, with either uh, silver or white. So it'll be a Spider-Man theme song, or th theme saw. I'm probably the only one that excited about it, but I'm okay with that. So we're going to do a Spider-Man theme saw. Now that just tickles me to death. Because that saw has like no paint on it, so it's a perfect candidate for such a thing. So I can't wait. I think that'll look good. I got a nice metallic red paint we'll put on it. As soon as we get that ready, we'll get you guys a good picture of that. I think it'll look neat. You know, I'm dressed up like Spidey. I don't know. I, I finally got to watch that Spider-Man, the new one. Holy crepes, that was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I like uh, Spider-Man is something I've watched or enjoyed since I was a little kid, you know. And I used to like the, the reruns of the 60s cartoon. And I like the comic books. And... I don't know. I've always liked Spidey. Me and Spidey, we go way back now. So, did you hear that, Matt? I think that's if that's okay with you, because I did get the saw from you. Well, most of the parts that's on the saw is from the part saws that I got from you. And the Roland chassis, I believe, come. Um, I think we'll raffle it off there at the barbecue. And I, I mean, if even if you're not coming to the barbecue, you can still win it. I mean, I don't, that's always been the case. Same with the, the, the Indigo saw draws. Uh, those ones you can win it across the world, man. If I had to ship, ship it to Australia, I'll ship it to Australia. Uh, this one, uh, this one will wait till October to... You know, it's a little pumpkin, man. I mean, for, for October. Look at how sweet little pumpkin she is. Oh, my gosh. I've used a lot of WD-40 on that. Ugh. Quite a bit underneath of it. <laughs> uh, I will change that fuel line before October. Uh, I promise you that as I'll have this all apart and I'll do a good proper clean on it. We might goof around with it a little bit between now and then. And don't worry if she blows up. There's one or two other farm saws running here we can replace her with. But we're going to raffle off a farm saw in October, I think. As, as long as there's no objections. Is anybody upset with that idea at all? We raffle one off for the, for the barbecue. And we won't, it's, it's just a regular, it's just a, it, it's the barbecue saw draw. It's nothing to do with the indigo saw and draw. It's, that's that, that's what that one's for. And then like, maybe we can do another one of the, the, the other farm saws for the next indigo saw draw too, but. So we got a few of them now. Yes, I do buy WD and both. As well, because like, I mean, you can get bigger drums of it, but I, I like these because they're a little more manageable. Need some information about the harm size. Uh, I mean, they're same as a P40. You know, there's not much difference. Well, I mean, we, we learned what was the difference there. Um, oh, so the reed blocks uh, screws are different on, on a P, uh, on a farm saw. Um, the P40's got the old screw heads. Now I'm getting chilly. I gotta close this door. Mm. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so the, the screws going in the reed block are different. Reed block itself seems the same. Um, top covers are different. Color is different. Um, ignition is different. These have electronic ignition where the 40s have points. Um, Mm. Oh, and the, I guess the clutches are different too. Uh, the the farm saws have the more upgraded spline clutch, whereas the other ones have shear pins. And other than that, they're mid 60, 65, 66 cc saw. Um, like I mean, the design's been around since the 70s. I think they stopped making them early to the 80, early to late 80s. Um, Well, what else? Uh, what else I can tell you about them? They run better without the sparker raster. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, it depends on the series. Yeah, the 40 series, which is what this is, is your mid 60 cc, uh, and then you got the 38, which is 58 cc, and uh, your 50 82 cc. In your 60, which is 99 cc, and the 61, I think, is 98 cc. You lose the cc. And actually, there's some of these ones where you lose the cc, it goes down to 65, right? I don't know if the farm size is always a 65 or a 66. I think the 42 is a 65. Um, so on and so forth. I think the 39 is a 65, too. But at any rate, uh, it's pretty clean. Yeah, 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 she, yeah. So that, that, that's, I think, the plan for this little gal. So we'll get that one up sooner or later. And we'll collect names from me from here till October. And we'll put all the proceeds towards a barbecue in October. Which we'll, we'll have it, even if nobody buys a darn ticket, we'll still be having this barbecue. And it's just, you know, bring a smile or a sigh you want to run. Or, you know, even if you want to bring, like, a bag of chips or something, that's cool, too. If we all pitch in, it'll be a pretty cool event. Last year was all right. It was a good event. It's nice to get together and run these old vintage saws and stuff, see what everybody else is tinkering on. Well, so for the farm saw, will be, uh, uh, will be 20 bucks. For the Sarvi zero. There's no tickets for the Sarvi You just come. Anybody who wants to join in on the fun, you come on down. I think you sold me uh, enough parts to finish her. <laughs> yeah, geez. I go to Matt's place and he sends me home with a trunk full. He's a good guy. One of these days we got to show you Matt's garage or at least some of the toys from there. He's got more pioneers than I do. That's where a lot of these pioneers are coming from these days. Ah, she's looking good. She's looking good. Look at that nice. That one nice. Get a little carbonator wrench. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she needed that. She was a dirty girl. That's it. Drink it all up. Starts pretty good though, eh guys? Like first pull, bang! And that was cold. Like I hadn't fired this thing up since this morning. And I, I started the fire in here and I went inside and did some other tinkering. And um, came back out and then we did all that on the live. And the holy guacamole, wala moly, holy, 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 stinking cakes. It, uh, if it didn't fire right up, eh? That's pretty cool. Cool. Now she's shining up, man. She's a little pearl. She is a little pearl. <sighs> she's a sweetie. So what do you guys think? Does anybody want to want a farm saw? Or should I just say heck it and keep it for myself? <laughs> just kidding.
Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Now, I mean, I could also give whoever wins it the option of having them with the chain break, because I'm not too awful fancy about a chain break, to be honest. Um, I kind of prefer them without. Just something else getting away. Uh, I mean, realistically, I should shut this off. It's doing right. Turn it back up. That's just as well as chain break. If you're talking about emergency situation, well, I mean, by the time you grab the chain break, it's going to be too freaking late. In my humble opinion. Or not so humble. I don't know how you look at that. Either way, cool. We're there, man. She is done. The other thing, too, is I got the other covers that we go on. And like, ah, there's that P40 metal cover, which is probably the best one. It ain't metal, but it just it says P40. Oh, yeah, I know you got to talk to your size. Give them a little bit of love, you know. You, just, you understand. How do I tell which one you have? Uh, why is there no paint on it, Dan McDaniels? Because they usually have... Here, you know, it'll be easier for me to show you on this part. Part sock. Uh, well, this one's got it on the top. Huh. But it's usually on the bottom, underneath this anti-vibe. You'll find uh, uh, the tag for it. But... Huh. Yeah, this one's on the top. Peeling back a little bit. I don't know how I'm gonna get you to see that. But you can see that. There's your model number for farm saw. So it's this one's 249 and then M FMSH for farm saw. There's another one. This one will probably have it on the bottom. Yeah, this one's got it on the bottom. That's the way they normally are. So it'll be just FM. If it's on the bottom. Okay. And otherwise, I mean, if it's a P40, it'll say P40. All right. See that one. Here. You see how it says P40 there on the top? Like if it's a P50, it'll say P50. If it's a P60, P60, P60. If it's a if it's a P42, it'll say nine seven nine 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 seven P40. Nine, ten, no, I'm just kidding. I'll say P42. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, so we have options to change this top cover. So I got this Pioneer Partner one, which is in great shape, but it's Pioneer Partner, so it's not proper. And this one, which this one's magnesium, so it's a tougher one, but it says P40. Um, so again, not proper. It's not proper. But if you don't want, if you're not worried about keeping your pinky up or anything like that, and uh, I can switch it up before. If you want, if you're the winner, if you're not the winner, then I guess it doesn't really matter what you think, does it? But uh, um, of course, it matters what you think. It matters what everybody thinks. But anyway, um, that's the spiel. Whatever parts the winner wants, the parts is what the winner gets. Is and if it, and then you can yeah. Oh, I guess we can put some dugs on that, eh? Should we put some dugs on it? I think I got dugs. Hey, doogie. Here, doogie, doogie, doogie. Here. series dogs well, I mean that's okay I can maybe find a pair Ow! Uh, what's this? Someone else. everything but P40 dogs okay well maybe I can try making some or 
You know, he's trying to phone in a friend there, like a millionaire. Remember that show? Phone a friend, Regis. I went down with WD-40 on it. Phone a friend. I'm going to use the 50-50, Regis. No, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna phone a friend. I'm gonna... No. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't believe I have any more of them. That's okay. We might be able to just set a dog for it. Or maybe we'll just leave it dogless. You know, not everybody needs a set of dogs. But yeah, there she is. Oh, there's Glory. She's ready to rock. She runs, she cuts. She spitters, she spits. But yeah, we'll put a fresh fuel line on that. So we can do that right now. Why not? I can do that later. That's pretty boring. I'm sure you guys have seen a thousand fuel lines replaced. I just thought it'd be ni nice, you know, fix this thing up live. We'll just throw parts at it and hope for the best. <laughs> oh, it needs more. Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong, Mama Kaz. I do think it needs. It does. I like the way you think, Mama Taz. More WD than B. Uh, a little more. Okay. We got her. We got her. We got her now, Mama Taz. She's WD'd. Ha! Might I actually hang on. There we go. Perfect. That's just the right amount. Not too much, but also not too little either. You're just right, right in that little sweet spot. Right in that little sweet spot. Mm. Mm. Smells nice and... Hey, how's it going? Purple squirrel, eh? Oh, there's a pink one too. No, I just can't. I better open a door. Before I do start seeing purple squirrels and shining stars. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Nobody goes on happy here. We give out free popcorn with admission. Only one squirrel. <laughs> I do love the smell of WD-40, but you know you gotta watch that kind of stuff when you when you get into them big jobs. I'm gonna open the door a little bit. Actually, she do need a little more right here. No kidding, I'm not being excessive. But needed it. Undercarriage could use a spray too. Gotta look after that undercarriage. Ah, jeez, Louise. Smells like licorice. Cool. Wonder if I. I would imagine here what would happen. Still gotta do a good thorough cleaning on it, but it's good enough for goofing around now. Good enough for goofing around now. 
Oh, okay. Boom! Bada bing. How long did it take us to get here? Oh, I can't see how long the video is. I'll have to find out later. But there we go. You take a bunch of parts, make a perfectly good saw. You can, you know, you can always uh, finagle your way through a, uh, an old Pioneer. It seems they're they're pretty stout little saws. So, how's everybody doing otherwise? I guess before we sign off here, we might as well have some dedicated conversation. You know, I don't know that I've actually really focused on that on the, on the live feed before. Usually, I'm either fishing, tinkering, messing around, half the nags, or God knows what. So, uh, okay. tell me how your day is going. You know, let's. Uh, how do you feel about that? You know, we'll give me, well, we'll, how, about, how about a little? A little Bushman therapy session, I don't know. You know, uh, I know I know you've been going through a hard time. And, uh, oh, it's okay. You know, we're, all, we're, we're all in it together. We're here, we're here for you. you know. Was that so? Well, I mean, maybe you should talk to that person about that. You know. I did. Okay, well, heck. I think you're on the right path then. You seem all right to me. <laughs> How's that for a therapy? Hey, Chippy, working away, eh? Decals are done for my truck. And for a treat. Oh, nice. Doing good, watching it rain. Uh, next two days, I have three. Oh, right on, Johnny. That's going to be cool. I'm doing good. I, uh, I fixed up this farm saw. Pretty neat. Um, I should have filmed it. I could have shared that with you guys, but uh, oh, maybe next time. Maybe next time I'll go live. Hey, Aaron, how's it going, brother? So we have another one lives. I'm three for three on that lot of uh, arm size there. It's not so bad. So yeah, there's a pile of them there now. Not a, not even counting my original one that I mess around with. So, so how's Aaron today? Tell us how you're feeling. We're, we're, we're having an open discussion. Farm saw him. Yes, sir. Yeah, she fires right up, too. She's a decent little booger. Watch, now she's going to be flooded or something because I put all that WD on her. Sawdust off the workbench. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's 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 gloomy here today too. Why are you going live there? It's about time. <laughs> Get after it. Get after it. Oh. I guess you weren't here for the big announcement. Um, we're going to raffle this guy off at the barbecue this fall in October. I do hope the darn border opens up so you can come up. Ontario Firewood, how's she going? But yeah, here in Hillsdale, at the homestead. I mean, unless we can find a bigger place to cut. Um, we're going to do the barbecue uh, on October 23rd. And uh, as soon as I can, we'll get tickets up for this here farm saw. And we'll raffle it off uh, at the barbecue. The indigo saw we'll do before that, and the other announcement was we're going to paint the indigo saw Spider-Man. So I'm going to do a metallic red on it and a base coat, and then Karina's going to paint the cobwebs on it, so it'll look like a Spider-Man suit. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, so we'll get tickets up for this guy too. Uh, Twenty bucks a ticket, just as usual. But this is this is not an indigo saw draw. This is uh, a barbecue saw draw. 
So we'll 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 do the final draw. We'll do a live at the barbecue, and uh, we'll we'll make a big spectacle of it. And uh, and the proceeds, like the ticket sales, will go towards the barbecue. So you know, towards gifts or uh, prizes and, and food and whatnot. Um, because we don't do ticket sales or nothing like that for the barbecue. It's just show up, bring your sauce, have some fun. And, uh, uh, yeah, so we'll do that in October. Hey, you know, farm stuff being pumpkin colored, it's kind of perfect for October, is it not? Like, holy smokes. I didn't even think of that until, like, I already, I, we kind of mentioned here on the live, and I was like, oh, well, you know what? Mm-hmm. You know, because she's a pumpkin. You know, she almost painted jack o lantern on the front of it, I should. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Ah, if you can thumbs up, actually. That's much appreciated. I've fallen out the algorithm. I don't know if much you can notice there. Uh, just because I haven't been pumping up videos. Um, you know, and there was a period there where I wasn't pumping up saw videos, so I, I fell out of the saw uh, uh, community algorithms too. So even in the algorithm that I do pop up in now, uh, like it's like Viva Frey and all them guys. So, <laughs> only old channels in bad shape, but that's okay. Um, I never really did worry about that, and we're way bigger than I ever expected to be. So I much really appreciate the support, and you guys have been awesome. But if you want to throw a thumbs up there, if you do enjoy what we're up to uh, on the videos and stuff like that, that's much really appreciated, and it's gonna you know help get me back into the old sock community algorithm there. <laughs> so we drifted we drifted off, um, and all. So we're gonna try and pump up some more videos, and we'll try and uh, and try and keep that a little more serious. At least get you yeah, at least one a week, you know, or something like that. So, you know, I like talking to you guys, I like checking in, and like, uh, and I like sharing. I mean, you know what, it's so fun to make a video when you get down into it. You know, the, 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 the truck, you know, I, I just love editing footage of the truck, you know, especially when I'm goofing off in it and you get to hear lug, lug, lug along, you know, and that, that just tickles me to death, so I enjoy that. You have a chain brake clutch cover for a 655 BP or equivalent. I don't. Um, I don't. Um. Unless the farm saw won't go on it, because there's there's a farm saw with a clutch cover, but I think that's smaller. Um, yeah, I don't I don't even know where you would get that. But that means, to be honest with you, I don't really usually go for the darn chain brakes. They uh, they just that's something more to go wrong more than often. Like I said, you usually op operate the chain brake when you set it down when. You can shut it off just as well, or you know, it's it's uh, one of those things. If it's an emergency, it's, you're not gonna have the time to hit that darn chain break. Oh, the beat? What? Just the beats out of the tart, or beats the tart out of it. <laughs> oh, I love that truck. I love that truck to bits, man. That's my baby. Between that and old blue, I don't think I need another pick up you know i mean i'd like a, a six five and uh in the 90s series but uh i love them old tracks you know the six two she may be gutless but frig does she ever sound good <laughs> she's good on fuel too but that's over at hillsdale uh service center right now still it has been for a while but i mean she's uh, the the tumbler the key thingy or the, the part that goes down and hits the ignition switch broke on it and I don't know. Oh, get this stupid thing apart, so... Ronnie! <laughs> I'm going to take it down to him. Yeah, what was that? Ah. <laughs> oh, you don't need to know all we're doing, you know, jeez. I mean, we spare you some things, you know, like you go fishing, you don't want to see me gotten the darn fish, I'm sure. But any rate, um Oh yeah. Yeah, shoot that happens, right? Well pump goes and you don't notice it or something like that. But uh, I had to swap the motor in my six two for that reason the old pump went and she wasn't getting all right. It is what it is. Um but yeah, hey, you're not too far uh, from us there, Ontario Firewood. So if you want to come on the 23rd, uh, get in touch me. I'll give you the address and everything, and you can come on up here to Homestead uh, or wherever we're holding the uh, the barbecue. But we will be doing a barbecue, uh, rain, sun, or shine. There, I mean, we got uh, we got them canopy tents and all that things we can put up too. If she's not so nice, so. But uh, uh, end of October, uh, October 23rd. And I mean, if the border is open, my gosh, if you guys can make her up here, ho 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 ho. And I mean that if that's just, if that's something that happens, 
maybe we got something we can use uh, uh, the raffle money towards is getting you guys some tickets and stuff uh, like for, for plane tickets or train tickets or bus tickets or or, or fuel or whatever to get you up here for the for the for the barbecue as I'd love that that'd be cool that'd be really cool just uh, you know everybody free your own cut whatever log you want we got a few around here um, and there'll be more by default don't we you, you bet your bomb dollar uh, and uh, I'll, I'll be sure to, to save some of them big rounds for so the way we, one of the things we do at the barbecue so we do the, the uh, uh, we do the furthest noodle right so you, you, you noodle in the log uh, last year was spruce It'll probably be spruce again this year because there's a couple big spruces to come down and um, uh, the furthest noodle wins a prize and uh, oh thank you Johnny thank you for everything you do you're a great fella and you enjoy your dinner and uh, and love your family on us there or, or say hi to your family on us or something along them lines I'm not the greatest with words as you know uh, but anyway, so yeah, we did the the, the furthest noodle, and uh, we also do the the timed cut with the CC classes. So I pick a lot for each CC class, and uh, whoever wants to go in there, you, so if you want to get into the 60 CC class or or the 80 CC class or whatever, you're all cutting in the same log. So that's somewhat of a controlled variable, you know. Um, but I mean, we all know wood, you know. Sometimes you hit. A spot that's just got a weird wall in it or it's got a knot or whatever the heck but usually I try and go with consistent looking bark a nice straight looking piece of log or at least that's what I did last year and I'll hope to do it again this year um, so we do that the CC class time cut there so and then there's a prize for each time cut and then within that when you're doing your time cut say you also if you if whoever gets the thinnest cookie out of any class doesn't matter which class you're cutting in uh, whoever cuts the thinnest cookie wins the prize too and then, uh, last but not least, but I'm sure we'll come up with, with new ones for this year, at least one new one, maybe or not, who knows. Uh, we do the, uh, the the chainsaw pumpkin carving, which if you don't want to use one of your chainsaw, you can use the old Mastercraft or, or one of my saws. Last year we used the old Mastercraft, she worked just fine. And uh, as you know, she still cuts just fine. Um, and, uh, uh, and then of course I set up little party logs there, you want know, to cut on them. Or race on either side kind of thing and then you can go to one of the log piles if you want to go nuts you go nuts Matt was at her last year he was actually an honorary uh, uh, referee with the timer and he was a big help so if you guys don't mind saying a big thank you to Matt on me uh, for helping out last year at the start yeah actually a lot, everybody was a big Jeff was a big help like uh, 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 cooking them burgers and everything like that and uh, I don't know what time yeah, it's just about five, four fifty-six. Oh, we're coming up to the two-hour mark. So, okay, I can see we've been on for a buck fifty-four now. So if we hang in there for another six minutes, we'll hit two hours, and I think that's what we're shutting down instead of me just rambling. I mean, I don't, I don't, I like talking to you, but I'm sure I could get some other stuff done. <laughs> but yeah, a barbecue, what a blast, and. Uh, the wards and the chainsaw hoarders and all that a great group a big help and big contributors to it all and uh and their event there in august is another sweet one which i'm planning on going to again this year and we'll, we'll get a video going uh we'll probably i'll try and do an edited video and i'll try and do a live feed of that one if if it's okay with i'll make sure it's okay with them first to, to go live at their uh, at their event um I, i'm pretty sure they're okay with me filming again anyways but uh, yeah, we'll try and get a video going for them, and uh, and we'll maybe do a live there. Yeah, I can't wait either, man. I'm looking forward to it. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to the one in August too. So I'll try and bring you guys along for that one too. Uh, and if you're Canadian and you want to join the Canadian Vintage Chainsaw Orders, you can come to that video or uh, that uh, do in in August. Um, you know, great group, and the, the only rule is you have to be a good person and just not be nasty. Pretty easy to do, isn't it? So, um, yeah. Oh, and you got to be Canadian. That's the that's their two rules. Don't be nasty. And you got to be Canadian, and that's 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 their group. So, pretty cool. Um, but as for the barbecue, you can be you can be American. You can be you know a, a moon man. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Come on down. <laughs> um, but uh, at any rate, so where are we at? Oh, four more minutes. I got to ramble a little more. Let me find a duck collar or something. 
and you get really annoyed. See how many, see how many of you guys I can drive away in the next four minutes. Just watch, watch, watch the view count drop. <laughs> well, God bless you too, Fino. You're a good man. Ah, there's a duck call. All right, let's see how many of you guys I can drive away. Oh, take care, Jake. All right, we already drove away, Jake. <laughs> Sorry. Something more annoying. How about a crow call? Is it in here? Oh, no. there's one. <laughs> now the view town's going down. Nobody liked a crow call. <laughs> we can do it. Um, My turkey call in the house. My turkey call must be in the house. All kinds of fun stuff. We got all the toys here. Oh, that one's broken. Let me fix it real quick. Oh, she might be pooched. She might be ochred. Hang on, Fiskers. We're going back to the house in a minute anyways, buddy. Yeah. I'll fix that another time. Yeah, my turkey out there. So, um, you might know this. You're a hunter. But for the, any of those, as, uh, um, Karen might be the only one. Well, my mom and Taz, I, I think Taz man hunts. But, uh, if you're, if you're not a hunter, you might not know that. But that's what a, a crow calls for. Yeah. So uh, it, it's to get a shot gobble, right? So it's competition in the forest. They hear the crow and they're like, no, no, I'm the bigger bird. So if you listen in the background, you probably hear Wayne gobble when I go. <laughs> See, so that's a shot gobble. So when you're walking in the forest, you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Had to be more authentic. There he is. Um, you get a shot gobble so you can listen to find out where they are, call and answer, get closer, closer, then set up your stand. Call them in, or, 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 or. okay, Fisk, tell me why I'm so bad, eh? Okay. Call them in, or whatever the case. Blast them off. Turkeys really aren't that much of a smart animal. They're a pretty easy thing to get after, but, uh, yeah, like I said, they'll, they'll, they'll answer to a crow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to see them get after it here? Let's go out there and we'll, I'll watch them get after it. They're kind of funny to watch Gobble. Where is he? Where's Wayne? Oh, I can see him. I guess you guys can't. Goofy, I know, but I mean, this is how we pass the time out in the country, okay? <laughs> Ain't nothing better to do, man. We don't do these video games. <laughs> Anyways, did we make it? Oh, we made it two hours right on the dot. Perfect. Yeah, he's a beauty. We got them. He was given to us by Yvonne and Phil. They didn't want him anymore. And we didn't want to process him, so we just keep him as a pet. He's okay. Yeah, Wayne's upset with me now. It's funny. He's a little dirty younger. He'll, he'll carry away from you when you're walking towards him, but as soon as you turn your back, he'll come up at you and he'll come after you. He's tough when your back's turned. Hang on, hang on. Let me, actually, I should position this so you can see me. We'll, uh, we'll end this sort of Mr. Rogers style. Well... It was nice to see you, neighbor. What a wonderful day to, to be a neighbor. Well, it's a wonderful day in my neighborhood. 
I never laid a for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Oh, could you be mine? Come on, Fisker. Let's go. She's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Oh, you can finish that outside. Here, come on, Fiskers. Right here. I ain't locking you in the shed. Come on, dude. Thank you. All right. We're out of there, man. I got things to do and dinner to cook. So, <laughs> till next time. It's always good to see you all. Always, always good to see you all. Yeah. Thanks, Aaron. And uh, we got some parts in the mail for you. Hopefully, they get there by next week. And uh, anyways, till next time. You guys take her easy. And uh, if we don't catch you on the next one, hopefully we catch you on the next one after, or maybe we'll catch you on somebody else's live feed. So, take her easy. Be safe.